Greetings, curious minds and enthusiasts of wisdom. Welcome back to Fuel Your Fire, where ancient philosophy meets cutting-edge science. Your guide on today's thought-provoking journey, Stoic philosophy and neuroscience, part I... E evolving landscape. In this installment, we'll explore the ever-evolving relationship between Stoic philosophy and neuroscience. Join me as we delve into the latest research and insights, uncovering how the ancient wisdom of Stoicism intersects with our understanding of the brain and human consciousness. Part 1. Neuroscientific Perspectives on Stoic Practices Let's begin by examining neuroscientific perspectives on Stoic practices. How do practices like mindfulness, cognitive reframing, and ethical reflection impact the brain? Explore the latest studies that shed light on the neurological mechanisms behind these stoic techniques and their implications for mental well-being. Part 2. Brain Plasticity and Stoic Training The concept of brain plasticity has revolutionized our understanding of the brain's adaptability. How does stoic training, with its emphasis on cultivating virtue and resilience, influence the plasticity of the brain? Dive into the research exploring the long-term effects of Stoic practices on neural networks and cognitive functioning. Part 3. Stoicism and Emotional Regulation Emotional regulation is a key aspect of Stoicism. What can neuroscience tell us about how Stoic principles contribute to emotional resilience and regulation? Explore studies that illuminate the neural processes involved in the Stoic approach to managing emotions and maintaining equanimity in the face of life's challenges. Part 4. Stoicism and Cognitive Enhancement As neuroscience advances, so does our understanding of cognitive enhancement. How might Stoic philosophy contribute to cognitive enhancement, and what does neuroscience reveal about the impact of Stoic practices on cognitive functions such as attention, memory, and decision-making? Uncover the latest findings in this intriguing intersection, practical applications, and future direction. Before we conclude, let's explore some practical applications and future directions. Neuroinformed Stoic Practices How can individuals integrate neuroscientific insights into their Stoic practices for optimized well-being? Collaborative Research the potential for collaboration between Stoic philosophers and neuroscientists. How can these two fields enrich each other's understanding of the human mind? Technological interventions. Explore emerging technologies that leverage neuroscience to enhance the effectiveness of Stoic training, potentially creating new avenues for personal development. Public awareness. The importance of raising public awareness about the synergy between Stoicism and neuroscience, fostering a broader understanding of how ancient wisdom aligns with contemporary scientific discoveries. And there you have it, Stoic philosophy and neuroscience part i.e. evolving landscape. If you found this exploration fascinating, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content at the intersection of philosophy and science, and share your thoughts in the comments below. May the evolving landscape of Stoicism and neuroscience inspire a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of ancient wisdom and modern scientific inquiry. This is signing off from Fuel Your Fire. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and may your journey through philosophy and neuroscience be one of continual discovery and growth.